Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here. I'm a CPA and it's that time of year. We got to file 1099s for any contractors we paid over $600 throughout the year of 2022. I'm going to let you know how to get it done through QuickBooks. Let's go. All right, so the first step in filing a 1099 is getting all the information from the contractor. That is essentially the W-9 is what we need. So if you take a look here on my screen, right, this is what we need from them, okay? Uh, for them to fill out name, social, or EIN address, what kind of entity are there, and then sign this thing, and we need that. Now, if you did this proper from the beginning within QuickBooks, you would QuickBooks would actually request it from them essentially on your behalf, right? When you go in here, we click on payroll, contractors, you're gonna get this screen here, add a contractor, you just put their name and email. So if you haven't done this in the past, make sure you do this moving forward. It helps keep track of this and it also gets a W-9 from them. And now, if you have not done this in the past, then you will need to collect a uh, W-9 from that contractor in order to issue this 1099. Now, if you've done it proper in the past, you should see the contractors, all the contractors you've paid listed here. Now, if you don't see them here and you need to go essentially outside and get that W-9 outside of QuickBooks and get that W-9 from that contractor, that's fine also. There's, a, there's essentially a workaround here. So once you collected that W-9 from the contractor, you would go back into QuickBooks here. We would go to expenses, click on vendors, click new vendor, and you would add them here, right? Their name, their first name, last name, of course, whatever name you want to put there, their address, and then their social or tax ID right here, and click that track payments for 1099s and then you click save and then you'll see them kind of pop up on your vendors list over here. All right, so once we get the information, the next step is to double check the amount that we paid that contractor. So when we issue the 1099, it is correct. Uh, there are issues essentially within categorizing in QuickBooks that can kind of trip you up when you go to do this. Let's take a look at some of the common things I see. All right, so what you're gonna do here is you're going to check the P&L for last year. So you're gonna click on reports, click on profit or loss uh, report, click that last year, 1-1-2022 to the end of the year, 1231. Hit that cash basis of accounting, run report, and then you'll get your P&L for all of 22. Now, next you're gonna have to go to where it says contractors. Hopefully you have a category for this. Click on that, go up to the top, Run this by name. Hopefully, you've named these, okay? And then you'll see the amount that you've paid all your contractors totaled up here, uh, essentially per contractor. Now, what I would do is essentially just scroll down to the bottom here and see if there's anything, right, not specified here down at the bottom. Move my face out of the way. There it is, right? And there's a journal entry, okay? So I'd make sure that this journal entry has a name on there. Now, it's not... Even if you put a name on the journal entry, it's not going to get categorized here. But what will happen is when we go to file the 1099, it will populate there in terms of the total amount paid. So make sure that you do name this on your journal entry, right? There is a section right there for name. All right, so the next thing I would do is kind of the same thing here, but with total expenses. So go back to the profit or loss here. Go down to the total expenses. Right, click on that guy there, and then sort this here, or group, it says, by name, hit run report, right? And then it's gonna group by name. Hopefully, you've named a lot of these, okay? So, and if not, you kinda have to just go through this and comb through and see if there's anything that you missed, okay? And if so, make sure that you name it and get it into the right contractor's uh, name so then when we go to hit that file 1099, it's going to populate there. All right, so once we have the accurate information from our contractor in terms of name, address, social, or EIN, and we got the correct amount of payments that we've made to that contractor for the year, last but not least is the easiest thing. We got to file these 1099s. All right, so the way we do this is we would click on payroll, go to contractors here, hit prepare 1099s, and voila. 
continue to 1099s. Let's hit the green buttons here. Okay, well, I've already kind of went through this a little bit, so we'll start at the beginning here. The beginning's gonna have like your information from your company, so make sure you know that is accurate. And then the next thing is also important. Uh, generally, contractors are gonna file. You we're gonna file this NEC 1099, uh, and you'll see here, right? We would file the miscellaneous if essentially we paid uh, rents. So that would be something else. But generally speaking, contractors were doing that. It says most common there. Okay, next. And you're going to check this box here that says contractors because you're going to have a whole list of all your uh, chart of accounts here. And you want to make sure that, you know, you definitely include just contractors in there. All right, and then we'll hit next. And then the next thing here is, you know, you'll see all the contractors that essentially, generally, that you've requested information from through QuickBooks. Now, if there's someone that you've paid and you manually entered their information in earlier as like a vendor, you can always just add them here from vendors list. So make sure that you get them on there. And if there's something missing, it'll essentially just give you an error there. So just make sure that you fix that. But it's name, address, social, or EIN there. Click that next button, and then you'll see you got to double check here that the amounts that you paid them are accurate, right? Because these are getting filed. And they're going to get taxed on this stuff. So you got to make sure, you know, this is important stuff. You got to make sure it is accurate. On to the next. If it's good, right, they're just essentially saying they're going to do everything for us. They're going to e-file this thing. They're going to send a, an electronic copy to the contractor, and they're going to send a paper copy as well. Continue filing. And the last but not least is, uh, you know, you just essentially hit that green button, hit file my 1099s. Boom. There you go. And you can preview those right there as well. Well, I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, hit that like button. Subscribe for more helpful tax videos like this and or QuickBooks as we will do these. Um, I also will have live streaming of TurboTax help. If you know someone that needs that, be sure to check out the channel Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays at 330 Pacific and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific. Thank you so much, guys.